Hi there. Yeah. Ever been mixed up with your homophones? I don't want to confuse you, but I'm just here to help. Words that are sound the same, but are spelt differently, such as your, and your, there, there, and there. Simple, yet easy to get mixed up with. There's an easy way to help you with this. There's some tips and facts to help you. Fact number one. You can normally tell if it's a possession of your, as in Y-O-U-R, or a belonging of you. Fact number two. Your, as in Y-O-U, apostrophe R-E, can be separated into two. You and R. And putting them together gives you the full meaning tip. The apostrophe symbolises a letter missing. All right, we're halfway there. There, there, and there. Fact number uno, which means one in Spanish. Again, two separate words, they and are. Combine them and you get the meaning. Fact number zwei, which means two in German. There, T-H-E-R-E, -E. in a situation which means something is over there. Fact number three, which means three in gibberish. <laughs> there, T-H-E-I-R, which means they have this possession there. Looking at the word, it contains the words he and I. And this word signals that it doesn't belong to you and instead belongs to somebody else. Homo, which means the same, and phone, which means something you hear. All together we get homophone! <laughs> Simple, yet easy to get mixed up with! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Simple, yet how? Go on then. <laughs> or, as in you, as in belonging and shit. You can only tell. <laughs> Your. Oh. There. There. And there. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Possessions. Homo, which me. What does homo mean? Hey, you're editing it. Yay! Woohoo!